Okay, today we're going to look at Devon. We're going to make a quick video here because uh, there's not too much that I would uh, have to comment on. Look, there's a javelin going in the back there. Be careful when you uh, retrieve your discus. Don't get hit by that javelin. And you don't want your discus to land on the javelins. It looks like a looks like a fin flyer. Okay, here we go. Right here you would like to see uh, maybe you be balanced have your torso and everything lined up right between your feet. The angle's a little bit off from the direct 12 o'clock, so you might be uh, you might be uh, balanced right over it, but from here it doesn't look like it. Okay, this looks good. I like how the left arm and left knee work together here. I'm watching a left foot turn. That looks okay. You don't, uh, you don't really uh, fully extend that right leg. See, so the knees are wide apart. That's good. But uh, the right leg doesn't come out here and fully extend. And because of that, I think you get a little bit... Uh, you miss out on some of the rotation right here. And you go across the circle a little bit. You can see how far apart your knees are here. I think the uh, the knees are a little bit far apart when you land because the uh, this left knee is over rotated maybe down this way too far. I would try to get this uh, left knee going down the throwing sector. That'll get you from maybe rotating around too much and coming around. Your foot lands here, which looks like it's on the left side of the circle. If I drew a line right through the, between the uh... Yeah, it looks like it's just on the left side. Let's see when you uh, get it at 12 o'clock here. Yeah, definitely uh, looks like it's on the left side a little bit. Uh, that throws you off right here where you kind of lose balance right here. Okay, and then your feet land too close together right here. Um, close together, I mean this left foot should be farther to the left here, your heel-toe alignment. Now, if the right foot landed a little bit more to the right, then the left would have been fine. Or... If you had more rotation here with this foot coming out wider, the right sweep leg, then you would have uh, rotated here more, and that left may, came, may have come around more better for you. Okay. So covering a few different things here. Um, right here, it looks like the discus is totally in line with your shoulders. So you want to get that discus behind your shoulder. Okay. And then uh, at this point, when your right foot gets to 12, your left sh shoulder is uh, over here already. Okay, you want that left shoulder at 12 with that uh, right foot as much as you can. That'll get your chest out here to 3 and give you good separation. You can see with the left elbow right here. Okay, left elbow, left shoulder. For sure the left uh, elbow, when it's pointing at 12, you want that right foot at 12. Then you want to try to get that discus behind you a little bit. Okay. And then the knees being far apart here, I think it's just because you land a little bit far apart, or a little bit far to the left here. And then, uh, yeah, it looks like you get off there well when the right foot lands. The left foot's over here by nine, so that looks good. It's just uh, right, there's something about right here. You don't hook it back back toward 12 or back in and around to get your get your hips on top of it it kind of gets yeah, right here you can see it's uh getting ahead of you a little bit yeah right there you can see uh, your hips way back here and your foot's here that's what i'm seeing so you you want to land with that uh, toe under your hip a little bit more okay so you can rotate because now, now it's acting almost like a break because it's so far ahead of you and you're not really rotating around. It's kind of just stopping you from going toward the throwing direction linearly. Okay. Yeah, you can see the foot's... Let's see if it turns very much. Okay. Looks like it turns constantly. Oh, right here it stops. But that's okay. Right here's okay if it stops and then you drive forward the hip. But uh, yeah, I would get that foot to right about... You're in the air pretty good, not not too high. I would just try try to keep rotating that right leg around and try to get it on the ground right here rather than having it drift a little bit too far, okay? Too far 
towards six and maybe a little bit too far to three. Okay. When you come down here, yeah, you can see the left foot. The left foot should land yeah, a little bit farther to the left here. And when this discus is right here at uh, three, I like to see that right heel also at three. So the discus falls behind it. That's just part of right here where the uh, the lower body's not rotating around enough. That's why that left uh, elbow and left shoulder are getting ahead of the hips here, or are, are getting ahead of where it should be. The, that's where uh, I'd like to look at this point right here. Again, where the uh, foot is at 12, you want that shoulder as much as you can over here at 12. And then, yeah, right here you can see how you've, uh, to get your hip around, you have to jump in the air a little bit because you're uh, blocked off a little bit with that left leg. It's a nice release. You're releasing from low here and your, your hand will go up here to the upper left. That's good. That puts a nice uh, lower right edge on the discus and it flies really nice. I don't see very, I don't see any wobble in there. So pretty much a good throw. It's just a minor thing. Um, maybe get the sweep leg out farther. Try to stop the left uh, foot and knee where they point, point maybe more down the uh, towards six o'clock. Try to land that right foot a little bit more toward the center and try to hook it in and uh, get the knees together closer, okay? And then uh, keep that discus behind your shoulder. That that should take care of this problem right here, the separation. Right here is where you want your foot point to 12, okay? I'll give you maximum separation. I, I'm sure you have the flexibility to do it. And then coming up, you want that left foot to land a little bit uh, more to the left. And then uh, see where the left foot is right here? That's where you want the right foot pretty much to land. And you see how far you go to the left? That throws you off balance too. I think that's all just because your feet are uh, not aligned properly right here. You end up uh, landing with the right foot way over there. Then it kind of throws you off balance. But otherwise, very good. Look forward to your next video if you have any more questions. Um, uh, feel free to uh, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.